Now we're going to take a look at what a drag and drop image quiz looks like. I have an example right here so I'm going to click on it and I will select to reattempt the quiz because I've taken this before. And here are two examples of drag and drop image questions. The first one says drag the images to the correct location in the frog life cycle. And as the student looks down, there are five blank spots and five pictures that the students need to locate onto this cycle. They can drag the images up to the locations, and they can even make changes until they submit. So if they decide these two are out of order, they can swap them out whenever they want. As a teacher, when you set up the quiz, you can allow them to check their answers or not. Another example is the United States. Drag the state name abbreviation to the location on the map. Now the only problem with the drag and drop image question type is that it does leave square boxes in the locations where the answers are supposed to be placed. Well, for an example like this, students by process of elimination have a much better chance of getting the answers right than if these little boxes weren't here. The next question type we'll look at, drag and drop marker, is an option you may want to use if you don't want to see these little boxes. But for now, the students do the exact same thing whether they're using text or images. They just drag the information to where it should be located. Now in the next tutorial, we'll go over how we actually create these questions.